<laughs> what a lovely day to walk down the road. And I just come up behind him and bash him in the head. What is up, everybody? This is Josh for Albers of Albers Gaming Films, and welcome back to Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door. I was kind of debating what I wanted to play today. I was debating if I should continue Doom Eternal, but then I was like, nah, I'm gonna play some more Paper Mario because this, like I said, I've been wanting to play this game for, uh, for. This is my favorite. This is just my favorite game of all time on the GameCube. It's just, I gotta finish this, you know? So. And I've only got two episodes to the darn thing, and I've only just started. So we're gonna have to. Get, we're gonna get into this. We're gonna get into this. We're gonna finish this game. You know what? I'm probably gonna finish this before I continue Doom. But well, because I do have a full series of it. Just I'm doing a replay of it. But anyways, here we go. <clears throat> Whoa! What was that? I've never seen anything that humongous before. It looked kind of scary too. Definitely flew into that castle back there, right? Let's get going in case it comes back. Here we go. Again. That was the one and only Dragon Hooktail. <laughs> Mushroom! It's a Goomba! I messed up. I messed up my butt. Damn it. Alright. Yay! When it comes to um, battling and leveling up Mario, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want to, um, you're gonna want to do as many battles as you can. Basically, any battles that give you a decent amount of star points, like around, I'd say, like, maybe, what, like, maybe seven, se seven to five star points, seven to five, anything that gives you seven to five star points is a good battle. If you start getting star points like three, two, one, then that means that you don't need to battle those characters anymore. You can jump this. Get up here. Oh, but uh, you need a you need a certain character to get that. You'll you'll see what I mean when we get further in here. But yeah, you're gonna want to go into as many battles as you can. If you want to be prepared to beat the game, you gotta level up Mario and his partners. And I'll show you guys how to level up his partners. Uh. When I when I go back to Rogueport in the whatever episode. By the way, this is reminiscent of again level designing with like the very first Mario Super Mario Bros. You know where you have the the pipes and the the bricks, all that. I like how in every like in every like Mario like game. Oh. Oh, one more thing, Mario. If you ever find yourself wondering what to do, just press the, the ZL button to ask for a hint. Full of good ideas, you know. <laughs> what a lovely day to walk down the road. And I just come up behind him and bash him in the head with a fucking hammer. Hey, right, Goombella, your time to shine. Ugh. 
Look at that, we leveled up already. I think this is our first level up, isn't it? Yeah, I think it is. Well, this is a great start to the video, isn't it? We got a first, our very first level up. I like to keep Mario balanced, so what I like to do is I like to do, with each level, I do heart points first, then I do flower points, and then badge points, and then I just repeat that process. That's how I level them up. I think that's the best way to do it because you're keeping him balanced throughout the game. Back to this, that. Gonna hit this switch, make a bridge. Ah, so many fond memories. I wonder, is there anything back here? Does Meow. All right, onwards we go. This? Oh, wow, okay. Oh! There's a star piece over there. Let me go get that. I can get in the damn pipe again. Here we go. Believe it or not, Mario does move faster when you're jumping with him in the background. A lovely piece of a star! Now this Mario looks like he'd be great for a television show! <laughs> Uh, my inner Mr. Puzzles came out there, sorry. Fire flower. Yeet. Delicious coke. Welcome, travelers. Where are you, you ask? Why, this is Petalburg. Sorry, but it's been a long time since we've had visitors here. Yippity, once that dragon hook tail was spotted flying around this area. Well, it didn't help tourism, put it that way. People just stopped visiting. Dragon? Hook tail? That must have been that huge thing we saw earlier, Mario. So it's called hook tail, huh? Oh, scary name. <sighs> By the way, Green Boots, have you ever heard of these things called Crystal Stars? We're on this quest for them. It's very important. Crystal Stars, you say? Hmm. Nope, can't say I have. Sorry about that. You may want to speak with the mayor, though. He's old. Like, really, really old. As such, he knows all kinds of stuff. Koopas his age are, um, really smart. Anyway, the mayor lives in that pink house up ahead. A pink house? Sounds totally hideous, but it should be easy to find. Thanks for your help. Right, we're gonna go ahead and save. Move on to Mayor Kloop's house. Was it? Oh, right now. Who is it? Who? What do you want from me? Oh, I know you're thieves. Here to rob a defenseless old Cooper. Despicable. Go on, do what you will. But as you can plainly see, there's nothing to steal here. Oh, I guess I have a little money. Take it, you fiends, and my antique shell, too. Just leave the photos of me and the missus. Can't do without those memories. What? Not thieves, you say? Well, what's your story, then? Oh, wait! You folks are looking for crystal stars. Well, why didn't you pipe up before, you idiot? 
We're just wasting time here. Crystal stars, you say you're hunting. Hmm, wait, what did I hear about those dang things again? Ah, oh, I got it. Hooktail. Hooktail's got what you're looking for. She's this enormous, ordinary dragon. Eats folks. They say, you know Hooktail, right? I may have heard of the name. All this Hooktail's brutal fly-by snackings of all of us on pins and needles. So are you reckless fools? I mean, are you gallant heroes enough to rough her up then? Wait, hold on now. Oh, sounds promising. Why, if you can rid us of Hooktail, we'll shower you with gratitude and rewards. Wait, what's that I hear? You'll accept no reward? I... I didn't say that. What an unselfish man! You're noble indeed! Yep, a good egg! And what did you say your name was again? Murphy? Hmm, that's a fine name. Yes, a fine name indeed. Well now, Murphy. The, the name, the name, the name is Mario. I appreciate that, Murphy. They are nice eyebrows. Now listen up. <laughs> if you're intent on going to Hooktail Castle, find the secret pipe that's located somewhere in Petal Meadows. I know you need the sunstone and the moonstone to use that pipe. The stones are somewhere in Schwank Fortress. Just past the village. Get them first. Uh, excuse me. Well then, Murphy, get going and really wallop that hooktail monster! That hurt my voice. I don't know why, but it did. I remember you. Well, hello there, my name is Koopy Koo. It's nice to meet you. Oh my gosh, that hat, those overalls, and, and that magnificent mustache. You're Mario, aren't you? I've heard tales of how strong you are. If you're here, that means you're going to challenge that monstrous hooktail. Oh, if only Coops were as brave as you. Oh, hey. What'd you say? You mean you're actually going to Hooktail Castle? I can't believe you dare to challenge that behemoth. She eats people, often. Um, really not my business. But it's one scary dragon, and that's no lie. I like Koops because he kind of reminds me of myself. Like, usually that quiet person that I am. I mean, when I'm on YouTube, I will say I'm a lot more uh, vocal. Well, in some cases. But most of the time, I'm the quiet individual. Um, excuse me. Uh, I beg your pardon? Wait a moment, please! He just has my personality, you know? Uh, pardon me for yelling like that. Uh, I was panicking. Um, how to begin? My name's Coops. I heard you're traveling to Hooktail's castle. I, uh, I have a favor to ask. Um, oh, just, just forget it. Never mind. Ignore me. G goodbye. Okay, that was weird. What do you think's going on inside that guy's shell? I don't know. What do you think's going on inside your hat, Goobella? Hey, another star piece. Oopa. I messed up my button. Yay. 
That's a Koopa Troopa. They've been around forever. Gotta respect the longevity. Max HP is 4, attack is 2, defense is 1. Their shells are hard, but flip them over and their defense drops to 0. You know how to flip them over, right? Jumps and power blocks. So get in there and get stomping. Okay. That's new. Mario! Look at our audience! Ah! That guy's got a rock! There's no way he isn't gonna throw it at you! You'll get hurt if you let if the audience hits you with anything, and not just emotionally. Quick, stop him before he throws that rock! Yeah, you're gonna need to stop the audience if you notice something. Nice! Later, you lousy troublemaker. From now on, press X to eject any audience members who look like they're holding things. Oh, but there might be actual fans out there with items or coins for you. Try not to chase them away. Okay, Mario. Now try attacking with your hammer. Not sure what lesson this is making. Oh, the stage props, right. Sometimes your attack will cause the backdrop to collapse. It can drop on us too, so watch out. All sorts of other things could happen while we're up here. So stay alert and try to come out on top. Alright, well with that out of the way... Oh, do I not have... Oh yeah, that's right, I don't get that till uh, later. Sweet. Okay, so that's why that, um... Happened. I don't know why I made that face, I'm sorry. Ah, yes, I'm gonna need this. We'll see why here in a moment. Problem. I mean, if power smash doesn't work. Oh no, it worked. Okay. No, no. Uh. 
That's a bald cleft. Basically, a rock monster with a sharp, raggy face. Uh, this is kind of mean, but bald guys really just don't do it for me. Next XP is two, attack is one, and defense is two. Yeah, this guy is rock solid. Fire doesn't even hurt it. Might be best to attack with, say, a pow block. Well, my power ash work, so. One, two, three, four. I, I think of that meme every time I do that. Yeah. You are dead. No big surprise. Oh, bad timing. Stabbing at my leg. I'm gonna have to check it out later. Down, one to go. Oops. Messed up. I keep messing up my buttons. Hey, oh. First bingo of the game, too. This is a good episode. Don't hit him. Give me that. Thank you. Oh, well. Okay, it's the to Bella, but that's fine. I guess that's okay. You have to give it to me. At my 14 health. Excelente. Another power block. Nice. Nope. I completely forgotten about that. Well, only one way to take care of these guys. <laughs> I completely forgot that those guys have extended um, limbs that hit you if you try to hammer them. Alright. Whenever I get to my next save block, I think that's going to be when it's going to be the end of this episode. It's going on quite long. Ah, I gotcha. What? I have a fire flower. Let's just take care of this quick.
Goodbye. Another one. And coupons are useful. Stop. <laughs> Oh, I know what this is. I know what this is next. I'm gonna end the episode right after this. Yeah, HP block. Restore HP blocks. Restore all of your um everything. It restores heart points, flower points, and uh bad and uh star points. This. I'm gonna end the episode right after this. No, oh, I have to check it. Okay, I thought I'd have to hit it like the other pedestal. <laughs> no ho ha! You're the first contestants I've seen in a while. Who must want the sun and moon stones? And if that's the case, then you must compete against me. If you win, I'll let you through to where the stones rest. However, if you lose, you will suffer a terrible fate. By terrible, I mean awful. <laughs> no ha! So what do you want to do? I'll take you on. Let's do it. <laughs> ho ha! You're in for it now. Hey, hey, it's that time again! Welcome, everyone, to the 65th Trivia Quiz Off! If you correctly answer five of the following questions, you'll win! But get three wrong, and you'll suffer. Now, the first question. What's hidden in Schwank Fortress? I mean, you literally told me what it is. Sun and Moonstones, is that your real answer? Yes. That's correct! That question was too easy, but it only gets harder from here. Much harder. Prepare yourself. Question two. What do one mushroom and one fire flower cost at the shop in Petalberg? Total! I actually don't know this. I'm gonna, go with, I'm gonna go with 12? I'm not sure, but we're gonna go with it. That's correct! That question was too easy. Yeah, he just says the same thing. Question 3! What is the name of the mayor of Pedalberg? I was literally just there. Is that yes? Is my real answer, and it is correct. Correct. Harder, much harder. Yeah. We're not done yet, folks. Question four. Tell me now, where is the crystal star? Okay. Tail Castle. It says it on my map right here on my map, Sir Swamp. Right again. Tell me you didn't just get your fourth right answer! It can't be true! That's it! I'm making the rest of these near impossible! Get ready for brain pain! 
Are you ready for Diabolical Question 5? How can one get from Rogueport to Petal Meadows? You go through a pipe. Yes, I'm sure. So intense. That's right! You correctly answered five questions! I don't believe it! You win! So very angry! Can't believe I lost! Just have to let you through, stupid fools! Okay, whatever. You made the questions incredibly easy, but anyways, that's gonna do it for this episode of Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Duel. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like down below and subscribe for more content here at Alpharez Gaming Film. Sorry, Camilla, I didn't mean to press that. And I will see you in the next video. Peace out, guys!